Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, The Soren Seward Family. I'm Ivy and today we are back with another vlog. If you're new here, go ahead and smash the subscribe button, ring that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we upload a video. Today I have a busy morning going on. Gotta take my mother to the doctor's appointment and I am taking you guys with us. Let's go. Eat sugar. I mean, when you when you go up, just go up, check in, and have them check you in, and you go to your seat. Okay. Okay. Hold on, mommy. I'll let you, let me come get you out. I'll let you out. No, thank you. No, I don't. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Man, they be trying to jump in your car. Like everybody here ain't for valet. I ain't got no money for valet. Okay. You gotta take the. You okay? You gotta take the brake off. All right. Yeah. So I'm gonna go park, and I'll be right up there okay okay so i dropped my mom off now i need to go and um whenever i'm recording with the phone i don't know where to look at so now i need to go get parking i'm gonna park we just like right there we just have to find a space the parking is free um but yeah every time i come here <laughs> every time i come here the drop the, the valet people be all opening the door giving me the ticket i'm like dude no i'm not i'm not um not built like that today bruh not built like that today, bruh. Nah, I'm good. I'm good, bruh. Thank you, though, bruh. Thank you. Thank you, bruh, man. Thank you, bruh, man. All right, so that's a big old... That truck was coming so fast that I missed the entrance. I was scared to death. Y'all just missed going into the uh, thing. I'm gonna have to go in and turn around. <laughs> I was scared, y'all. So let me go in this way. Let me go in here. Um... I'm going here. Turn around. Look at this. Look at this big truck. It's right here passing, y'all. Watch. It's about to pass right now. That big old truck right there. Y'all. That thing came flying. I was like, uh-uh. Uh, -uh. I'm not about to press my brake and make that quick turn because he can't slow down. The thing about trucks is trucks, when they're going, it don't matter if they're going slow or not. Don't you press your brakes in front of them because they can't, they got too much weight on them. You know what I'm saying? So y'all know what I'm trying to say. My mind's focused on getting back to my um, getting back to my mother. All right, we have the guest parking. Come on, y'all. Come on, we gotta find some parking, y'all. Gotta be some parking somewhere. Somewhere, my mother's appointment schedule time is like right now. Uh oh, I walking so fast. Okay, you guys, I am out here looking crazy. My hair probably a mess. I don't care if I get to my mother. So make sure she's checked in, all right? They didn't tell you, it's fine, mommy, come on. So the, if it has to be a year for them to do a full physical, it hasn't been one year yet. So please, they'll let you know. We're here for a follow-up. Yeah, they can check them. Please Um, and then we'll do lab done for today. Okay. Um, she did. I mean, uh, we were worried at some point about her. Um, she had that um, ovarian mass. Yeah. But uh, they said so. I did a CEA, which CA one twenty five, and that was normal, which. 
makes it less likely that it's anything um, to worry like, about. To worry about, mm -hmm. but they did recommend following up with it. Okay. Um, uh, to do another ultrasound at some point. Okay, that's um, fine. So and if we could do a, a eye appointment, if we if you could put okay. in those referrals for me. <laughs> so referral for eye doctor. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, so I'll put the referral in for eye doctor ultrasound. We'll do labs today as well. Okay. Okay. And um, I know her breathing has been off for a while now like that, okay. but can you still just check her lungs just yeah, to make sure everything's yeah. um, okay? Yeah. Um, How is her swallowing going? Um, she still has speech therapy and swallowing okay. therapy every good. single Thursday. Oh, good. Okay. Um, that's going really well. Her okay, physical good. therapy um, is going good. really well. Um, she's hanging in there. Good. She's hanging in there. That sounds good. It's sounding uh, pretty clear, actually. It's okay. Pretty good right now. Yeah. yeah. So, the, is it, so the Lexapro, is it like one time a it's day? once a day, yeah. Once a day? Uh -huh. I could do like morning, something yeah. like that? Okay. And the Gabapentin, she can do at nighttime. Okay. And it shouldn't be nothing I should be looking for, like signs of... Because you know how like when you start taking antidepressants, it'll be yeah. like suicidal thoughts and oh, blah, right. blah, blah, blah. So I don't want something that yeah. she hasn't been taking to drop her and make her sad right. and things like that. Generally, this one does not cause like drowsiness or increasing depression and things like that. Okay. Sometimes they can, um, some people, what they like, if they have very low energy, then um, the antidepressants get, give them enough energy to start. Okay, great. About okay. That, All right. Yeah, so, so I'll yeah. just keep a watch on it once yeah. we start it after the other pill. Okay. 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 All right. All right. All right, you guys. So I'm in here. We're waiting for the doctor to come back. We're going to get some labs done, some blood work done. Well, the blood work done to check her sugar and stuff. Then we're going to make another appointment to follow up with the kidney doctor, the eye doctor, and the ultrasound on her ovaries to make sure that there's nothing else growing on there. In Jesus' name, there's nothing. Um, and that's about it. Uh, the weight loss is still there, but... Um, we just gotta work with what we got. You know, we gotta keep on pushing, right, Dot? Yeah. We gotta keep pushing. That's all. That's all we can do. That's all we can do is do our part. That's all we can do. I know it's not easy, um, not being able to gain weight and losing such a significant amount of weight. But they said with kidney failure, that's like one of the symptoms. So, um, yeah, we'll check back in with you guys later. Okay. Tired, mommy? You want some coffee? I know you do. She heard her talk about she wants some Chick Fil A coffee. No, we not. We gotta go to Walmart. We gotta get that prescription thing. And I bought all new coffee yesterday. Come on, let's go. So I'm gonna go get the car. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, guys, I am headed to go get the car. I'm gonna come back to get my mom. She's in there waiting. And I gotta go back through here. taking the elevator I'm taking the stairs I don't like taking the elevator like in parking lots and stuff I'll take the stairs yeah. I'm on the second floor I believe am I on the second floor or the third floor I think I'm on the second floor oh I found it thank god Nothing me and you got here at the same time. I was behind you. Yeah, you're right there and I'm up here. Cool. Family. I do not like coming to parts of the bar just by myself. Because I don't have good memory. I really don't. All right. Let's go get my mama. Then I gotta go to Walmart. Get her some back medicine. Ah, <sighs> busy day. All right, you guys, I am back in the car. I'm about to go get my mom. But one thing, whenever I come to the hospital, I don't know, it's, it's not all the time, but a lot of times when I come to the hospital, I see some people like they're just so sad or they just received bad news or they lost a loved one. And I just be like, 
Lord God, please just comfort them, comfort them. The last time I was here, a lady had um, was with her two kids and they were saying goodbye to her mom, who was the kid's grandmother. And it was just so sad, like, so, so sad. But, you know, I just wanna encourage everybody to hang in there because as surely as we live, this life on earth is not promised. The people standing next to you, the people, nothing is promised. Nobody is promised tomorrow, you guys. And I just wanna let you guys know that, you know, we all have to pass one way or another. And um, let's just try to just enjoy the moment. You know, even if we are battling with sickness, um, even if our life is not as great as we would want it to be, you guys, let's just try to embrace the moment and just try to find hope somewhere. Um, because I wanna be around and see all my kids get married, to see my grandkids and just to live a fruitful life. And when it's my time to transition, it's just my time to transition, you know? So, I love you guys for real. Let's go pick up my mom. I just had to get that off my heart. Yeah, I'm gonna back up out of here. Now I am in Walmart and my mom wants some back pain medicine. Let's see if the pain relief for her back. Oh, oh they're going to keto strips everybody be asking about. I don't really use those. I've never used them actually. Boy, do I miss them keto snacks though. Thank you. Have a good day. Just Patty. Why are you saying at me like that, mommy? All right, you guys. I'm about to head home. We about to end this vlog right here. Thank you guys so much for coming along with. Um, hold on. Thank you guys so much for coming along with me and my mom. Mommy, say thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> my mom is out of it, you guys. So a lot of people, you know, sometimes when I record my mom, I'll cut it or I edit it because um, my mom has a, a breathing issues. And um, sometimes it might come off like a, or a, or just not clear, right, mommy? Because of um, having strokes and it, her, her throat and the thing in the back of her throat, I really don't know the name of it. It never fully recovered, so it hangs lower than it's supposed to hang. So a lot of times my mom don't feel comfortable or she doesn't like me recording because I really don't want nobody coming at my mom like, oh, you know, what's that noise in the background? Do you guys have, you know what I mean? Just being disrespectful. But um, as I vlog and as I continue to, you know, share my life with everyone, um, I don't, you know, it is what it is, but just be respectful about it. Um, and I think a lot of people are not aware of what's um, going on in my household. And I don't share as much, but, um, my mom will be uh, in the background of the vlogs or you'll see her or you'll hear her talk to you. Or if I'm recording and she's with me and you hear a sound or something, it's okay. Don't be alarmed. We all gonna get old one day. Ain't that right, mommy? <laughs> That's right. So I truly appreciate you guys coming along with us today. Um, and just, guys, I didn't vlog that part because uh, the, the needle, when my mom was getting her blood um, taken, mommy, the the needle popped out like it slipped out her vein right and he was like are you okay and i was okay my mom was okay but i didn't want her to get poked again and i know sometimes that happened but 
when you get up in age and your body isn't as strong as it used to, it's hard to find another vein. And I don't like watching my mom get poked and stuff like that. And um, But he was very nice. He didn't seem like it was my mom's fault or he wasn't trying to not own up to it. He was very professional um, and he was very patient and gentle with my mom. So I appreciate the people who take care of other people and who work in these doctor's offices, especially on a, a busy day. Like today was a super busy day. Yeah, but on that note, mommy, look at that big old truck. <laughs> you know, I don't like trucks. On that note, I'm about to head home and uh, get back to the rest of our day. I appreciate you guys so much. Always keep my mom in prayer, you guys. Right, mommy? Yeah. Yes, right. So I always keep my mom in prayer. I always be praying for us. Um, life's not easy, but we make the best out of what we have. Love you guys for real. Until next time, stay blessed, stay true, and continue to be you because the world needs more people like who like you. And if you're not feeling needed, remember here on the Soren Singer Family Channel, you are needed. These calls ain't playing today. Uh-uh. All right. <laughs> Peace out, great people. Say bye, mommy. Bye-bye. She's tired, y'all.